Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for joining me in Spring Watch. Spring Watch is, oh, I love this series. 14 video projects coming at you back to back to back to back to back for 14 days. We've had a week and a half, we're into the final stage now. And it's projects that are using uh, products focused in the Spring Catalogue and the Celebration Catalogue. This year, a little bit of a difference. I'm doing a different giveaway every single day. And uh, today's giveaway, is the little cutie stamp set now this is the one i have used i've just taken the wording actually uh, from the front here but you can enter to win in one of two ways you can leave a comment here on youtube or over on my blog and there's a, a link in the description bar to to this project so you can leave a comment and you will get one entry into the draw or you can make a purchase and you will get five entries into the draw now i can uh sell and recruit into five countries and I can only send this to, to one of five countries and they are the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, France, Austria and Germany. Um, so those are the five countries that I can send this to. However, if you'd like to leave a comment and you're not in one of those five countries, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll be pulling a name at random anyway. And if it's you, I will send you a little selection of handmade goodies made by me. So, two ways to enter. But let me show you how to make this darling little box. It is just adorable. It's one and three quarter inches by one and three quarter inches by two inches, slightly longer. And it just opens up like that. Lovely little box. You could put balms in there. I actually had in mind baby booties for this box um, because I pulled out the stamp set and decided I was going to work with that and built the box around it. But you know, little baby stuff, all so sweet. Tiny little baby booties in there, or mittens, or something little sweet, or those really adorable Burt's Bees baby balms. God, that's a bit of an alliteration gone mad. Something like that in there, just so sweet, and it's so pretty, and it's kind of like a little bit of a keepsake box. Show you, gonna show you how to make it though. Super easy, two from a sheet of cardstock. Your piece of cardstock measures eight inches by five and a half inches, which is 20 by 14 centimeters. Put my stylus away, let's get it out, there we go. On the long side, score it at one and three quarter inches, three and a half, five and a quarter, and seven inches, which in metric is four and a half, nine, 13 and a half, and 18. And this is the thick whisper white cardstock. This is not our regular one, this is the lovely thick stuff. Then turn it round and on the short side, score it at one and three quarters, and three and three quarters of an inch. Uh, there we go, which in metric is four and a half and nine and a half. Couldn't think of them for a minute. Okay, so hold and burnish these score lines. So it's not a it's not a cube that you can you're making. Actually, you can see there it's not a cube. It's slightly wider than the height. So like I say, one and three quarters by one and three quarters by two inches, which is four and a half by four and a half by five centimeters. Good size box. And it's, I call this a roll up box. So you're going to roll it up to close and that's gonna be the little lip that pops over. So some bits to take away. So that's the front, the bottom and the back. You need to take away those panels. So you're looking for the thin score line, the narrow one, those are all equal, that narrow one, and take away the two that are next to it. So let's grab my big scissors. There's one gone, and then the same on the other side. Okay, so as you would roll it up, it's going to roll up like that. So these panels need to go round as well. So this, I want to have folding round so that you have a seam at the back. So these ones here are going to wrap round. This one, you're going to wedge into it. So we're going to keep that straight, wedge in, that straight, and wedge in, and whip off a little bit. Doesn't matter, that's not, no set measurement for that one. Okay, so you can see that. So that's how it's going to fold round. So that's why we needed this one as a nice straight edge. So you get a perfectly flush finish there. Hopefully you can see that white against my hand. Perfectly flush. And it's because it's been trimmed down, it makes it much, much easier. It's exactly the same over here. Cut straight and wedge in. And this one. Cut straight, wedge in, and whip off a little bit. 
<laughs> Let's move those bits out of the way. We're going to hang on to those white bits. We'll need them from for the front. So it's super simple. It's just going to fold up. You're going to fold these ones in and stick them to there. And then you're going to fold that one up and stick them there. So I want to put adhesive on here. Where's my fuse? So. Whoopsie. And then these ones as well. Oh, I've gummed up my fuse. I'll have to sort that out in a second. So these ones are going to fit to this one here that is the back. So you make, you line up this edge here, this straight edge, with that one. Okay, and then exactly the same over here. This loose edge onto that edge. And then these ones that are going to be the front, bring them around and do exactly the same and make sure that everything is lined up. But because they're both squares, it will line up perfectly. See? Nice smooth flush edge. And that one as well. And then round here, I want to round these corners and I've got my piece of designer series paper. Um, and because the box is one and three quarter inches wide, <coughs> excuse me, which is four and a half centimetres wide, my piece of paper actually wraps over the top and round. So I've made it uh, one and a half inches wide, four centimetres. And if I round the corners first, if you need to round the corners of one end first to know that you've got it positioned in the correct place. Uh, so it's one and a half by seven and three quarter inches, which is uh, four by nine and a half centimetres. And you just gently bend as you're going around just to get rough score lines. That one's going to fold up and tuck away there, and you're not going to see it. But I wanted to get that one positioned first so that I get a nice equal border all the way around. So I've got my rough score lines. I'm just going to reinforce them now. No science. Just eye eyeballing, I guess. You're eyeballing where the score lines go, but with a little bit of little light help. Okay, so they're going to fit round. Now, if you see mine, I've actually only attached it at one end. Oh, sorry, the two ends, those two ends. So it actually opens there. And I think that's quite cute. Oh, holding it slightly off camera. I've only attached it there and there. I think that's quite cool. I kind of like that. So I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive under here and a bit under that end. And again, start bringing it round. There we go. See? Easy peasy. And then, just to finish off, I've got a little bit of stamping with a beautiful little cutie stamp set. Um, it was my little bits of scrap that I used before. And my ink. I'm going for mint macaron. This is the Oh So Succulent stamp set. Uh, Paper. See, I'm mixing up everything. I love this one. I have done a video project with this little lamb before. But I like this sweet little one, which is up here. Um, um, I can't find my little block. This is a B block. This one's a little bit too big. I could go with the A block. And I've got two punches, one and a quarter, and one and a... Oh, no, that's not the right one. One and three eighths. One and a quarter and one and three eighths of an inch. And I'm going for two of them because you can see I've got the same up at the top there. Two of those with the scrap. And then I've got mint macaron. So I'm going to have two of the bigger one. And then while I've got this out, I want three flowers. Now this is from the Blossom Bunch punch and it's that little one. So you kind of tuck it into little gaps that you've got because you don't want to be punching out all of... Oh, I haven't got a gap there. You don't want to be punching out flowers unnecessarily. One, two, and there's my third one. So there's not too much waste there, just a little bit. 
Oh, I need that. And I'm going to elevate these and then just put it all together and show you how to close it so that the box will stay shut. So, oh, my paper piece has got stuck. There we go. There's my three flowers. One, two, three back of your paper piece into it and push down and this is a spongy match these are actually the inserts for the uh, stamp pad stamping block holders love it I love spongy mats for things like this we have got um, a pierce mat which is also very good for stamping on that will work as well I just happen to have this because it's close by and I can keep it stored and use it all the time right I've lost my Lost my snail. There it is. So let's put all these bits together. So there's my circles, and I like just that little hint of a border. This is tip top taupe. This colour, um, and I wanted something a little bit different. So um, tip top taupe mint macaron goes very well, I think. This is the top one, so just straight in the center. And the one at the front, oh, I've positioned that wrong. Peel that off and start again. What you need to do is get your dimensional underneath where the wording is, but obviously on the back. So I know it need I know that needs to go at the bottom. I've got my teeth in properly. And then when you close the box, if you look sideways on, and hopefully you can see this, I'm making sure that is below the edge of there and my box will now stay shut oh, it's awfully I think the lights the sunshine has come out that opens and closes with no problem marvelous right mini glue dots onto the back of these and I can pop them on the top these ones I went with rose red and then I went with the sweet sugar plum enamel shapes I don't have mint macaron in all shapes, so I reckon the pearls work very well. What do you think? Nice sweet little box for little mini gifts. Or you could change up the paper and you could put boy gifts in there or kids gifts, all sorts of things. But I love them. I think they're very sweet. Anyway. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I can't believe the sunshine's come out. I hope to speak to you soon.